Hello guys, so as we know that the recent update in the Fire TV OS, the version 7.6.6.9, uh, the Amazon have imposed some restrictions uh, with ADB, so the volume control app break uh, starting from that version of Fire TV OS. So uh, I had introduced some workarounds. So I had introduced one more and this one is seems to be very promising update now to the app. So let's begin. So first of all you have to ensure that you have installed the version 3.2 of volume control app from the Amazon App Store. So uh, after ensuring that you have installed the version 3.2 of the volume control app you will have to head over to the android app that i've developed for mobile phones to grant the permission uh, the ios users uh, please check the description box uh, i'll leave some information there on how to grant permission using uh, your ios devices so for, for now let's go ahead with our android device and see how we can uh, grant the permission there so you have to ensure that you have installed the version 1.1 of this volume control utility app so which is responsible for granting permissions so i have updated this app as well so make sure that you have installed the 1.1 version of this app now uh, as you know that uh, earlier we saw in this app you have to uh, put the ip address of your fire tv device so let's see how you can get the ip address of uh, your fire tv device so head over to settings go to my fire tv go to about and then go to network here as we can see we are able to get the IP address of our Fire TV device and also you have to make sure that you have enabled ADB debugging so uh, to enable ADB debugging you have to tap on Fire TV stake light this uh, label of your uh, Fire TV device multiple times probably seven times one two three four five six seven and then after that you'll be able to see the developer options here so head over to it and enable adb debugging so as we can see that my ip address is 192.168.1.1 now after entering the IP address of Fire TV device in this app, you can click on Grant Overlay Permission and it will show OK, OK, OK and then the Permission Granted thing. So this says that the permission is granted. Now after you have granted the permission, you just have to clear the data and clear the data of the app so head over to applications manage install applications then go to volume control and click on clear data also click on full stop now you can launch the application And there we can see the volume control panel appeared there. Now with this update of the volume 3.2, you can get back you get back the earlier feature that was long pressing the trigger button you have set and the volume control panel will appear. Then using the right all F key you can control the volume. 
so we finally managed to get this back rest of things uh, same you can configure the time there you can configure the panel uh, not panel I mean the trigger button of the volume control so that was all thank you